Festival is a story about the kid who didn't really fit in and the transition from seeing that as something wrong to something that has absolutely shaped who I am now and shaped my life and shaped my dreams in a very positive way. <laughs> and I guess it was me trying to share that story it's just to anyone who might be going through something similar, essentially following your dreams, staying true to yourself and not changing. Crowded hallways are the loneliest places for outcasts and rebels or anyone. We talked the other day about how you're a big vinyl collector now. So how did you get into that? Are there certain things that you're on the hunt for? I don't really know how I like got into vinyl. I mean, I, I guess I've always found it fascinating. You learn what studio it was done, when it was done, how long it took, or who worked on it, and all this good stuff. And it sort of gives you, it sort of puts you there. It was a story. And I guess storyline was the attempt to capture that same sort of spirit. She was blowing my mind. Have you ever noticed every hurricane gets its name from a girl like this? She's a cat five kind, keeps you up at night. My ACM experience this year was really special. It was totally different from my other ACM experiences, you know? This year was just about standing there and singing a song that was really personal. And I had nothing to hide behind. I had no instruments. It was just me and a mic, which was the most incredibly nerve-wracking and vulnerable thing I think I've ever done in my life. And it was just, it was, it was magical, and I'm so grateful that I had that experience. It was beautiful.